you know, it seemed like that first inning kind of struggled to, f to find a split, um, you know, and a lot of pitches. They fouled off a lot of balls. I just think he wasn't very sharp, um, you know, even even with his slider. Uh, I thought eventually he kind of found the split a little bit, but um, just just not the real good command and feel of all his pitches that we've really seen uh, for the better part of the month. So. Um, and, and that's a that's a hot offense over there. That if you're you know really not on top of it, they they can make you pay. He has not lost a game since April seventeenth. Is it surprising oh. to see him not be able to right the ship while he's on the mound? You know, I mean, you're going to have ones like that every now and then. I mean, he, I thought he battled. Um, you know, going back out there for the six, just trying to save some save some pen for us a little bit, but you know, just. You know, not not enough that he's been so sharp. He's been so sharp with his, especially his secondary stuff, that slider and split for for a while now, and and just not not quite as sharp with that. And and you know, they they fouled off a ton of pitches. It seemed like all night, and and uh, you know, eventually made him pay when he did make a mistake on the plate. It wasn't AJ Cole's night either. What did you see from him, and did you consider getting him any earlier? No, I mean we had to, you know. It was, you know, through this stretch, kind of trying to really reset our pen a little bit, knowing if we go to our high leverage guys, we're, we're going to have a lot of those guys down tomorrow if we had to use them today. So trying to squeeze every bit we could out of out of AJ, you know, you know, some of their lefties obviously gave them some problems and, and, and started getting into some deep counts and that pitch count ran up. So um, just a tough, tough night finishing guys off. Wally. Aaron Tanaka's had trouble with the long ball in the past, but he seemed to have, you know, conquered that in the past month and a half or so. Why do, do you think? What do you think the problem was tonight? Yeah, I think just that, just not real sharp with his the slider and the split have been so good now for for the better part of a month that, um, you know, tonight was just, I think, battling all night to kind of find that feel, find that command of it, and uh, you know, just a few too many mistakes uh, against a hot hitting team right now. Mark. Green's been one of those back end guys, but over the last month, I think his ERA is like six, seven, five. Mm -hmm. So, how much concern do you have there that you know about this bump, and what do you think has been sort of the root cause of it? Yeah, um, I feel like we 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 keep seeing signs of him kind of right in the ship a little bit. Um, obviously, a different kind of situation where he comes in behind like that tonight. Um, you know, I think just being able to trust that he can go to his secondary stuff to keep them honest. Uh, whether it be that changeup, whether it be the slider, um, I thought he, I thought he had a, threw a good changeup. Maybe the first couple of hitters um, in that inning, um, and then you know that that keeps him honest enough, and that allows his fastball to really play. And you know when he's when he's working the top of the zone with the fastball, it's really dynamic. But he's got to be able to mix it up and down, but at least be able to keep him honest with the secondary. And I think we've seen flashes of of those secondary pitches over the last month, but it's still just a little bit inconsistent. Brendan. Have you noticed anything off with his fastball? There was no surprise that it was coming last year, mm -hmm. and he was so good last year. Maybe just not airtight command-wise. You know, um, it's important that he gets it to the top of the zone and, and, and getting it to a side of the plate that, that he wants. But also, again, you know, especially with some of the righties being able to get a strike down and away too with that fastball um but again at, at least having in the back of the hitter's mind that hey he he can flip something in for a strike something of of the secondary variety that's got to be a factor to really allow that fastball to play up mandy uh obviously this is largely dependent on score and situation right. over here right sorry. sorry no you're fine uh score and situation but um was there any part of you that debated walking guzman there in his in his last at bat just because of the damage he did to you guys tonight and with first base open no no not not in that situation no danny uh, you let uh boyt uh hit against martin with a couple of lefties on the bench but went into the uh, thought process there um Walk ended up not really being available. A little emergency situation tonight with with a kind of a neck and illness. So um, <clears throat> unless it got close late and there was an emergency spot, um, that kind of and and Voigt's throughout his career has kind of hit both. 
do you expect him to be available? I hope tomorrow? so. I hope so. We'll we'll see. I got to check on him. So that led you to. I mean, I know you uh, pinch hit Bird for Robinson, Robinson there, and that. And so you just knew you only had the one lefty off the bench, basically pro, tonight. Pro, yeah. Meredith. Sorry, with Walker, you said neck and illness. Uh, yeah, he just came up a little bit with a with a tweak of the neck, and then wasn't feeling good before the game. So he was kind of an emergency situation only. When did you know? Was it just before the game, or did you know earlier than that 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 he wasn't going to be able to go? He started, I got to check on him, but he started not feeling well, um, kind of right before the game. 